Okay guys, I wanted to do a little bit of pre-measuring uh, of the ports on these mid-90s LT1 small block Chevrolet heads prior to doing some port work on them. Um, normally I get ahead of myself and I don't video measuring the ports before. Um, if you go by the advertised rated size of these heads, they're supposed, supposed to be 170 cc intake runners, which is bigger and better than even the most famous uh, double hump heads from the 60s. And, you know, it's a big improvement if you're building a decent engine to run these bigger port heads that GM came out with. You know, we're going to refer to factory production, not the special racing heads. But I've got 150 cc's in this intake port now so i'm going to try to top it off you know i'm hoping to see 170 which you know normally they are pretty close let me see here and i have these plates uh mostly set up for ls head so i've got to kind of play with this one a little bit and make one that's uh, specifically for these old style heads. It's been a while since I've worked on a set. Okay, let me see where we're at here. I'm blocking the camera. We've got a little bit of a bubble. I'm trying to work in here. Come on. It just keeps running right by the hole. But, hold on, there we go. Come on. There we go. Sometimes if you jiggle it or tap on it, you can get it to play fair and try to go through the hole. Let me see where we're at here. Because it's not, that little bubble is not going to make a huge difference. And, okay, it's full now. What do we got left here? Set still. All right. Let's see. We had 150. We loaded 50. We have 20. Hope you guys can see that in the frame. Let's see, 21, 22, 23 remaining. So 50 minus 23. Yeah, yeah. That's good. I mean, that's good to see. That even this factory head, this a little bit dirty, not bad, is still, what is that, 170, let's see, 10, 20, 25, 30, 40, 40. that's about, what is that, 100 and, gosh dang, is that 175, 177? I don't know, my brain's, I'm having a brain fart, let's see, so it'd be 160, 170, 175 yeah so this head measured 177 cc on that intake port and there's no leakage Let's see if you guys can see that there's no leakage around the intake valve there's nothing pouring out the other side so that should be a, a fairly accurate you know 175 to 177 Cause, you know i did get a little bit of dribbles because i wasn't being super careful but that's really good to see you know that the factory or whoever cast this head actually made it an, an accurate advertised volume because you know being that i've worked with many different kinds of cylinder heads over the years most times more times than not let's say you don't end up with a port near as big as what they try to tell you it is. So, very, very pleasantly surprised that these LT1 heads are starting out at or above its rated size. So, I'll probably get a little video here in a second of the exhaust port uh, volume. And then we'll uh, blow these heads apart and start getting everything cleaned up, ready to port.
Okay guys, we got the plate set up and we got 50 cc's already in the port. So now all we gotta do is top it off. I've got 50 in the port and I've got 50 in the syringe. So let's just start filling her up and see where she stops. Ooh, she's getting pretty full already. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Get that air bubble out of there. Boom. A little bit more. Hold on. Let me hit the boom. She's full. So what do we start out with? 50, 10. Okay, so looks like the port volume on the exhaust without porting that we know of because we haven't pulled the valves and everything out of it yet to see if they've ever been worked before. So we're looking at a before porting exhaust port volume. Let's see, that'd be 60, 65 cc's. Because I started out at 50 and we're now at 35. Hopefully you guys can see that in the shot. So that looks like a pre-porting volume it'd be 50 65 yeah almost dead nuts on 65 cc's on the exhaust port runner size prior to any porting and keep in mind these things are pretty dirty they've got quite a bit of carbon build up in them so we're going to call it an official I'm going to say in, intake runner volume uh, 177 cc and exhaust runners are 65 cc's. I don't know how that, you know, right off the top of my head, I don't know how that compares to what these things are rated factory as. But I wanted to get a little documentation on video for you guys before we clean these heads up and make them flow a lot better. So. Appreciate you guys uh, tuning in for these porting videos. Um, like I said, it's been, gosh, over a year, at least a year, if not two, since I've done small block Chevy heads. But don't worry, those are my bread and butter for a long time. So, uh, you know, it won't be a, a big challenge to get back into them and get them cleaned up and get them flowing a little bit better. So we're gonna play, pay uh, very close attention to the uh, seat area looking for cracks because these are a very low low budget purchase off of eBay by the customer and I just want to make sure that there's no severe warping cracking you know problems before we get too far into this so LT1 heads we're talking like mid 90s you know off of the uh, F body cars Corvettes whatever but uh, let's get some work done on these and see what we can do to them. Thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the little belly thing, and tell all your friends because I'd really like to get some more subs. Thanks.